Olympic flame has been extinguished. Everyone heads home and the world reconvenes in the name of sport in two and a half years for the 2020 Tokyo Summer Games. South Korea hoped to host the 2010 and 2014 Winter Games and only succeeded after two failed bids. The timing of hosting the 2018 Games brought with it the attention of the world for a different reason. The strongest concerns to date about the nuclear threat just 60 miles away in North Korea. But right from the start, with that powerful symbol of reconciliation at the opening ceremony, both Koreas marching in together, there seemed to be a halo of sorts over everything to follow, including the joint Korean team in women's hockey. While international messaging included the sister of a dictator and the daughter of America's president, in Korea, the conversation is now of renewed talks between the North and South, an agenda advanced in part by the timing of these games. We have no idea what the political future will hold, but we do know what we experienced over the last two and a half weeks. Even in one of the coldest winter games in recent memory, the host offered unmistakable warmth with their spirit, their smiles, and their pride. What you see at an Olympics can thrill, surprise, and inspire you. They'll <laughs> never ask again if American women can win cross-country gold. You can look back at the joy of Jesse Diggins and Keegan Randall to find the first. 17-year-old Chloe Kim ushered in a new generation of champions, one that can tweet about being hangry while winning gold. The skip named Schuster, the man in the mustache with the flat-brimmed hat, just remember these guys as America's first Olympic curling champs. And how many young girls will be Jocelyn Lamoureux or Maddie Rooney in their dreams, their driveways, and maybe someday on Olympic ice? Part of a team picture of hockey gold medalists, just like the 2018 team that delivered women's hockey its most dramatic moment ever. These games came at a time where America has been described as divided, voices loud, emotions raw, feelings deep, and scenes of sorrow and sadness from Florida last week impacted Americans everywhere. Sports, games, can't truly rectify real-world problems. But perhaps for the last two and a half weeks, the Olympics has given people a reason to smile. And even deeper, it showed that there's still great reason to find hope in humanity. Here, people from all over the world overcome. They fall. They get back up. They don't always win, but they show the spirit and power that inspires us to keep trying. So, if the games gave you a little joy, a reason to believe, that's a pretty good reminder of just how great this centuries-old idea can still be. It was an honor for all of us in front of the camera to represent the almost 3,000 men and women, both here in South Korea and back in the U.S., who make up the NBC Olympic family and had the pleasure of bringing these games home to you. We thank you for welcoming us into your homes the last 18 nights. And on behalf of all of us, I'm Mike Tirico. One last time saying good night from Pyeongchang, South Korea. This is the moment that we all have been waiting for. This will be the competition of your life. I think it finally hit. I'm actually here at the Olympic Games. <laughs> oh my God. Joint flag bearers, one from the north, one from the south, <coughs> and one moment in Olympic history. The games are officially open. Red Gerard now. The teenager is now the golden kid of Colorado. This is a dream, dude. Oh my god. Hidetska, she cannot believe it. Double gold in two different sports. That triple axle will go down in the record books. These are the moments that just make your heart feel like it's gonna explode. One, two, three, wow! It's a tie! It is a tie! This is the greatest redemption. Two gold medals in Pyeongchang. Oh, nice and clean. Jamie Anderson is golden once again. Olympic history within his reach. This is the moment this enormous crowd has been waiting for. You're looking at gold for South Korea. They come together, north and south, for a hockey game. Score! And let the celebration begin!
highs four years ago to near the lowest of lows. Wow. Wow. Not really sure what happened. Not a representation of who I am and what I can do. some fun and just to make him proud it's, it's the best part and I love this little dude <sighs> gorgeous quad this is number six yes! oh, the real Nathan Chan just showed up at the Olympics do a run that will make you proud ready Our next game eight long years for this opportunity the wins have been out. You know she has that pent up energy. We'll see how the 17 year old will answer. <laughs> what a rivalry for you here. Sometimes a little bit of adversity goes a long way with motivation. Hearing the crowd in his ears as they roar. Five on the board for Team USA. The road to redemption has one run. Oh, too close to goal! He needs the back-to-backs to take down Ayubu. One more hit. Will it be enough? Justin Lamaru. Stars! Megan Augusta to keep Canada's hopes on. She is stopped! The United States wins gold in Pyeongchang! Yeah, there's no words. This is the greatest honor for our team. forever. Curling gold the most heartbreakingly beautiful competition that I've ever seen. So proud of you. I wish I could keep going, you know? I have so much fun. I love what I do. I don't know. I'm just, I'm proud. <laughs> proud to have given it my all. My Olympic journey may end today, but theirs is just getting started.